Hello everyone. Welcome to the tasting portion of the Tokyo Treats box. Um, I did another video where I unboxed everything. You can go into my channel and see that. But this video is going to be the tasting and the crunching and the snacking. So we're going to start with this big bag of potato chips, which are hot chili flavored. So I have my little scissors here. There we go. And you can see it's a nice full bag of potato chips. Let's see what they taste like. Get a nice one here. Very nice. I like getting snacks from other countries because what they mean when they say chili is different than what necessarily someone in America would mean by chili. Over here it would probably be much more of a Mexican slash Texan type chili. This is a very, not a very different, but a slightly different chili flavor. A little smoky. Really good. Not, it's not a super spicy. It has more of a chili flavor than a chili heat. But still very delicious. Okay. I don't want to eat the whole bag. But very good as always. I'll put that over there out of the way. Now this is the most intriguing part. This is a little carrot shaped package that has small little rice cakes in it. Almost as sm small as grains of rice themselves. Let me open this up here. Okay. Just a little piece of tape. Put this here on the edge of the plate. Okay. Now. Oh yeah, almost look like puffed rice cereal. And they dissolve in your mouth very quickly. Definitely something you eat by the handful. It's a very slightly roasted flavor. 
and just a little bit of sweetness. Not a whole lot at all. It's very, very delicate flavor. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty basic. I'd fool around with. It's essentially nice puffed rice. I think this could function as a cereal quite well. I think this would definitely be a snack that you eat with something. Um, it also reminds me of popcorn. Um, but it's not salty. It's more of a sweet popcorn. But, yeah, it's like popped rice. But it's good. It's a nice light snack. Okay. Well, this isn't something I'm going to eat, but um, this is something that came in the package. It's a little change purse. It's very cute. Comes with a little card. Dormon. Hello, kitty. All kinds of crazy little things on the outside and you open it up there's a nice hinge and a nice piece of foam I think I know what I'm doing with this I think I'm gonna make a video all its own just with that piece of foam. So, very neat. Well, someone in my family will enjoy this, my wife or one of my nieces, something like that. Neat, I like that. Something to remember each month's box buy. It doesn't just disappear like the snacks. Okay, let's see. Let's do a sweet. Okay, this is a giant chocolate bar. It has like a crispy coating on the outside and then chocolate on the inside. Put it all the way down here. Okay. Well, we're traveling all the way from Japan. It's in remarkably good shape. So here we have the crispy cookie crumb coating and the filling of crispy chocolate. Hmm. That actually has very, very little flavor. It's mostly there for texture. Let's see what the filling tastes like. It's a nice basic not super chocolatey flavor, but a little bit. 
It's much more the contrast of the texture between the cookie and the softness of the inside filling. Yeah, it's not overpoweringly sweet. Just good. Very nice. But definitely good altogether. The cookie by itself is pretty bland. Okay, let's put this to the side. I've been dying to try these, so I'm just going to dive right in. This is grilled seaweed with wasabi. It's a nice little resealable package. That's nice. Oh, they're very small little squares. Oh, and the wasabi is sandwiched in between the two layers. Mmm. Nice. It's a very good seaweed flavor. It's not overpoweringly fishy or seaweed, sea-like, but it's definitely just enough. And then just a whisper of the wasabi right at the end. Which I think is genius by trapping it in between the two you get the seaweed flavor first and then as you eat it it releases the wasabi mm. delicious and by the way that's something you should always be allowed to say Release the wasabi. Mm. Very nice. Seal that back up. Keep it nice and crunchy. Now, try these. These are yakisoba flavored. I've had yakisoba here in America, but I don't know how that compares to actual yakisoba. Yakisoba from Japan. dried rice noodles. Very nice. Kind of a subtle flavor.
definitely get a nice taste of the yakisoba up front. And then as you eat it, you taste the noodle. You get more of the starchy flavor. Very good. This guy down here saying something. He seems to be putting his hands up, like, stop. And have kind of a worried expression on his face. I'm not quite sure. Maybe he's saying, don't eat this snack at all. You'll never want to come to my restaurant again or something. They taste too good. Who knows? But they are quite good. It's going to be nice sp sprinkled on something else to give it a nice flavor. Okay. Well, let's go back to something sweet. Actually, let's see. We can put this together. We may need some water, so let's try it. I am intrigued. And the magazine that came with this box will tell me how to do this in English, which is what I desperately need. Okay. So here we have... Well, it's very slippery. Powder on it makes it hard to pick up. So here we have our mochi. And here we have a chocolate sauce. Which we put on one side. Like that. And then this packet is green tea powder. Here we go. pull a little corner off there and we pour the powder into this side quite a bit of powder here Okay. Now we need just a little bit of water, so I'll be right back. Okay. So I skipped a little bit of messing with these mochi discs because it didn't quite work out with sprinkling the water on it. So I actually just kind of quickly dipped them in the water, and that seemed to work a whole lot better. So now we take one of our mochi. There we go. See, that's much better. Kind of a soft gelatiny 
Uchi. We dip it in chocolate. We dip it in green tea powder. And then we taste it. Oh. It's fairly mild in flavor. Get a little more chocolate here on this one. A better balance. It's not a strong green tea flavor. But I think this is more about the experience of putting something like this together and eating it. Mm. It's okay. I won't eat the rest of these because I have other things to eat, but it's average. It's nothing special, I would say, but that's okay. It's kind of neat. Let's see what else we got. Plenty. We'll stick with sweet for now. And these are little squid or octopus shapes. I think. All of these look like they're aliens floating in space on a spaceship, so maybe they're aliens. almost look like a pretzel coating. Yeah. Nice and crunchy on the outside. Chocolatey on the inside. Not really a pretzel. I think it's just a basic cookie. It's a nice little snack. Okay. Now. The Pepsi Sakura. I have not had a carbonated beverage. I've not had a carbonated beverage in quite a while, but I'll take a little sip. It didn't explode. That's good. It's a very distinctive pink color. Hmm. There's a nice, bright smell to it. Hmm. Tastes a little like, I don't want to say cotton candy. I think that's just the sweetness. There's a little hard candy that I used to eat, kind of like a sweet tart. And it had a flavor like this. I think it was like the pink strawberry type. 
but this isn't a strawberry flavor. Yum, I like that. But um, this may have caffeine in it, so that's all I'm going to drink. Because my body is not used to caffeine anymore. And I don't want to be bouncing off the walls. Okay, well that was kind of refreshing. These are barbecue flavored waffle potato chip type things. There's a little sprinkling of seasoning on it. Very delicate with a barbecue flavor. It's definitely there right at the beginning. And then the taste of the chip or cracker takes over and it is really good as well a nice umami flavor yeah that's a nice subtlety so many um american snacks smack you over the head with the flavor this um has a nice complexity to it definitely enjoy those. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have these dark chocolate panda faces. Another bag inside of a box. I'm just going to go ahead and take it all the way out. melted together, but that's okay. They came a long way. See, there's definitely a darker chocolate. This panda has a little star for its eye. So, these are very good. I prefer them over some of the other versions I've had, because they're a little bit more rich with the chocolate flavor. these back in here. Close it up. And let's see. Sticking with the theme of little cookies filled with goodness. Let's try these. These are vanilla custard flavor, which is exciting. And I always like the little graphics they print on these different koala. Here they looks like a snowman koala. 
in a studious collage? I'm not quite sure. Mm, nice. It's a nice, um, different flavor from the chocolate. Sometimes some of the chocolate can taste a little artificial, especially in some of these smaller treats like this. This um, it's pretty, pretty good with the vanilla custard flavor. Yeah. I don't want to eat too much of this. I've already snacked quite a lot. Put that back in there. And fold that up. Okay. Now, this is like a Pop Rocks candy. And I think I'm going to make a video specifically dedicated to this. I hope it is nice, intense kind of Pop Rock sound. But we'll see. So that leaves us with one last piece. And I save this last because I think it's going to be awesome. This is the soda flavored chewy candy. And they come as little squishy blue cubes, light blue, kind of like ice cubes. Let's see. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. It's softer than I expected. It's not chewy like a caramel. It's like a sugar cube. It's a little moist, if that sounds interesting at all. It um, it starts dissolving in your mouth right away. And it has that nice um, soda flavor. And then it has a nice cooling flavor or sensation right after that. Hmm. nice. The package suggests, or the book suggests, that you freeze them. And they will have a different texture. And I'll probably do that. I imagine right now they pretty much hit your warm mouth and just instantly dissolve. If they were frozen, take a little bit longer in your mouth. You probably get a better flavor. And I love that flavor. It's very good. It's quite unique. Very Japanese. So that is almost everything. There is this cup of udon noodle, but I'm not going to eat that now. I will probably eat this off camera since it takes a little while to prepare. So this is the conclusion of the sampling portion. As always, it was absolutely awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed all of these snacks. But I think my favorite was the seaweed, the chili flavored potato chips, and then the soda flavored cubes. It was all quite good.
Except for the mochi thing. That was kind of weird, but hey, that's okay. You can't win them all. But thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tasting video. I always enjoy doing them for you. So please subscribe to my channel and I'll have more videos for y'all. Thanks. Bye.